Hello YouTube, we're back, and um, so in the last episode, and I'm assuming you watched it anyway, we uh, docked life support system to the space station. So now, we got a total of six Kerbals up on the station. As I mentioned, I want, I want to run a maximum of three up there at any given time. So basically, we got too many. So basically, we gotta bring some home. So, this little craft that I'm working on building now is going to contain a hitchhiker storage container. And if I remember right, they like have, yeah, four. So we got six, four, ugh, crap. I didn't want to have to attach two, but... Well, unless I attach a lander can, it's got two, so that'd be... Oh, wait, I only need to get rid of three up there, never mind. Okay. Anyway. So, uh, this is going to look kind of stupid up on top, but because my uh, space station only has full size docking ports like that one, I got to use that one on top. Also, another small problem we're going to have to deal with, and I do not know how we're going to deal with it yet, is um, basically because I have the deadly re entry mod installed. On re-entry, we gotta keep this thing cool enough to where it will not burn up in the atmosphere. And we can land our Kerbals home safely. How are we gonna do that? I don't know yet. We'll figure that out as the time gets closer. I'm gonna use the same basic system here as I did a minute ago to launch the support system up. There's gonna be a couple stages here. This time I'm going to add some uh, more boosters though on the side. I'm going to have uh, four, but this time they're going to be liquid. Liquid fueled boosters, but not like last time either. And I'll go ahead and go with six, might as well, right? It's propulsion. Uh... There we go. Oh, so stage six is a little bit more thrust. Not a whole lot, though. Just a little bit. All right, so, uh... There we go. <laughs> so right there's eight of those. Uh, they fire off, lift us, they dry out, come off. Main sail down here fires, dries out, comes off. That fires, dries out, this comes off, and this fires. So then, that should be more than enough to get us up there to uh, the station. Now, though, we've got one small problem. Dealing with re-entry heat. And how exactly we're going to do that, I'm not sure. Uh, because this thing is so large, it would be kind of hard to attach a heat shield to it. Well, it's not only that. It's because of the engine down here. If we took the engine off and all that, it might be possible. Then. But I can use this engine, if there's fuel in it when we get up there, I can use this engine to slow our descent. See, if I face retrograde, yeah, I can do that. So actually, what I'll do then is... Uh, I'll go with four of them and slap them on right there. So this way, though, if I burn, if I burn, uh, yeah, retrograde as I'm coming in the atmosphere, it'll slow my descent down. So that should help out a good bit. Yeah, we'll try that. And we still just barely have enough thrust to get off the pad still, so I'll take it. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'll give it a try. 
So, oh, oops, okay. Anyway, ah, crap. McJeb and RCS ports. I knew I forgot something. I knew I forgot something. All right, let's just let's load and then we'll go back. <sighs> okay, well it seems like I got the uh, flight engineer thing on here as well, so. Alright, so anyway, I still like my good old McJib and uh, RCS ports compared to that, so. <laughs> I know it's got enough thrust, so I don't need that part anymore. All right, there we go. Let's go back, launch it. Be good to go, hopefully. I just thought of something though. Also, I can I can do hopefully. I know for a fact that I can transfer a little bit of garbage that is up in the space station now to this uh, craft. But I wonder if I can transfer the carbon dioxide out. If so, I'll go ahead and do that. Right, that'd be a nice little thing to be able to do. So, all right, ascent and guidance. Let's go ahead and set our target. Got our target set. Launch to rendezvous. Actually, you know what? I'm not even sure why I do that. Cause I use the rendezvous module up in uh, in uh, orbit anyway. So. Let's go ahead and engage. There's that barely getting off the pad. <laughs> the 1.07 thrust. Kind of tilting sideways. That's not a good thing. Man, doesn't that smoke cut look realistic? And that does. I mean, that's cool right there. Okay, I kind of can't wait until um, these burn out because it's kind of making me go sideways. <laughs> A way we don't need to go. Alright, there we go. Turn on RCS. It's helping a little bit. Maybe helping too much. <laughs> uh, oh, almost there. Almost there. There we go. Right there. Straight up and down. Please. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> alright, alright. I'm giving up. I'll sleep RCS one let it do its thing. So we just get rid of those eight little uh, liquid boosters. In that perfect circle as it goes down. Main cell kicks in with this tank. The Rox Rocco Max Jumbo Tank. Then we got uh, the main cell here and then the nuclear engine. So we should have more than enough to get up there. Oh, look at the wobble in that. Don't know what that was. Not sure I want to know what that was. Or that. <laughs> Alright, so a lot of explosions going on. I ain't got a clue what they are. And you know what else I forgot you do? <laughs> Parachutes. So, basically, we're going to bring this down completely on solid rocket boosters. 
in a nuclear engine. <laughs> uh, wow. All right. This ought to be interesting. Yeah, it's kind of bright. Just had to adjust the staging here a little bit because I want that nuclear engine to fire because we will use it to circularize our orbit. And I want them solid rocket boosters to fire at the same time. That'd probably be quite bad. So, yeah, basically all we gotta do here is, uh, just dock with it, remove three of the crew members, and return back to Earth, hopefully in one piece. I'm not holding my breath on that, though. Also, if any of you guys have been watching Spaceport recently, there's a, uh, it's called the Community Space Station or something like that. Anyway, one of the big contributors of it, I've noticed, is uh, Paul Bobcat, which, I mean, there's a few other big names working on it, I just don't really know him that well. Anyway, though, making this big old space station at a, it's a replica of the ISS, so I'm really debating about buying, I mean, not buying it, uh, downloading it and using a few of the parts from it to work on mine. Thinking about it, I don't know yet. I might. My game already takes about five minutes to load because of all the parts in it. <laughs> I'll tell you, I mean, Nova Punch is one that takes the longest to load. Looking down there and seeing what parts loading, it's always, you know, something with Nova Punch. Yeah, I like the pack. I mean, I'll, I'm not going to say that. The pack is okay. I use the uh, structural pieces out of it. The fairing plates, uh, the fairing walls, stuff like that. But the fuel tanks and the engines on it are pretty well useless. Especially the 3.75 and the 5 meter. And that is just because of one reason. They don't connect. And even with... Uh, struts. It still doesn't connect the best. So, I mean, I love the structural pieces of it, but the propulsion section, yeah, section of it, I hate. I've debated about uh, going through and deleting all the fuel tanks and engines and just haven't got to it yet. Probably because some of the Nova Punch engines I actually use like this one I believe is Nova Punch. I'm not sure. You guys think the Earth Orbit's bad about debris. Look here at the uh, moon. Well, you can't see it now. Yeah. I and mean, there's a whole lot of crap over there. Ah, there it is. Man, look at all that. Yeah, in a previous episode, if you guys remember, um, I accidentally took the converter station and crashed it in with something. And it exploded, basically. And Crap went everywhere. Okay, and I've come to the conclusion that on landing, we are going to have absolutely no fuel to land with. 
except the SRBs to slow our descent rate so we don't burn up. But we're going to crash into the earth. Hard. <sighs> so. I'm just going to go ahead and dock with it, get the crew, and uh, turn retrograde, let the SRBs burn, and let the thing burn up in the atmosphere. Yeah, burn up on re entry in the atmosphere. That's all I can do, because like I said, it, it ain't coming home. <laughs> not in one piece, anyway. And that is not my doing either. <laughs> Okay, it kind of is. I forgot the parachutes. And it's kind of my fault. It doesn't have enough fuel. Totally irrelevant, though. <laughs> you know, who needs parachutes? Who needs fuel? It's all useless. <laughs> Just like, who needs food? Water. Who needs oxygen? I mean, really. Alright, so we aligned our planes, and next we're on to... Establishing Phasing Orbit. Alright, let's do that then. As our liquid fuel slowly burns down... <laughs> That right there is one thing that kind of starting to worry me here. I don't have enough fuel. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and make a little comment here while I'm thinking about it. Um, cause I just checked the time. And I'm sorry if you guys think my videos are like really long, like way too long. But um, and how I don't really get a whole lot done in one video. That's just because of the fact that I like to actually add commentary, like right now while it's happening, and not do uh, just an overlay. If I did that though, I could do like uh, Scott Manley does, and for example, pre-record, make the video go two or four times faster. And then add commentary over that. I don't like to do that. I just, you know, prefer to do it this way. And if my videos are too long for you, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know. Little green light shining into the darkness. Ooh, that's getting really low. Really low. I'm just hoping, like I said, we got enough to uh, actually rendezvous up the station. Oh god, it's getting real low. Uh, wow. Um, And actually, when I get close enough, I need to pick a certain docking port to dock with. Because if I don't, we will probably uh, crash into the solar panels. Which, we just can't be doing that. <laughs> you know, that's kind of a bad thing. Here comes our target. The ISS Zeus. And there was a little lag spike as it loaded. Yeah. 
That one right there is the one we got to have as our target. It's on the very top, and uh, it just has to be that one. Or I highly risk the solar panels, which, I mean, I just can't afford that. Although in the Soviet pack, um, there are these solar panels. They don't, they're not as big and they don't produce as much power, but you can move them around on the station in EVA. So right there is something to think about, considering I could uh, move solar panels around if need be. Um, I'll go ahead and start the docking process here. So maybe I added too many uh, RCS thrusters on here. <laughs> oh no, it's doing fine now. <laughs> and I went ahead and deleted that uh, that fuel tank and engine that was on the. Uh, life support module because it wouldn't float away it just would not float away so I just went ahead and went in and ended that flight for it got rid of it so it's out of our hair crap well that worked real friggin well <laughs> oh node in 37 seconds <laughs> That might have been a good thing to watch. Gonna go ahead and make me Jeb mad a little bit here. Oh, I don't know here, man. I see the distance one second getting closer, one second getting farther away, and all that. And So it looks like it's going to be a long, boring process right here. So there we got that a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that node. That record's gonna bug me. There we go.
But yeah, this one's just gonna like uh, take three of the Kerbals off. That way the uh, space station can support those three. That right there is gonna be like the uh, basic limit for crew members. Real ISS is like uh, six, I think. I don't know, something like that. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> But I mean, it can only support you know so many crew members for five months, so. Or it's going to support three crew mem crew members for I don't know how long yet. All right, we're getting a little bit closer to it. Oh, the docking port is on the underside of that. That's nice. Well, the side facing the Earth. There's no really up, down, left or right in space, is there? Okay, you can quit backing up now. <laughs> yeah, you, you can quit backing up now, dude. Seriously, yeah. All right, so we're moving closer to it now. Very good thing. Oops. Throw that back up there. So let's see the next module that comes up to the station. It'll have carbon dioxide filters on it. It'll have batteries for the filters. Um, let's see. What else would it need? It'll have a few solar panels that can be moved around. That right there is actually pretty important, honestly. Because that way, just in case these main ones here that are up here right now get damaged by anything, you know. When I say anything, I mean my crappy piloting skills. <laughs> uh, they can be replaced. Yeah, it'll be smaller ones, but they can still be replaced. I gotta admit, that'd be kind of nice to have some lights and some power on here. <laughs> As you can see, we're all, out, we're all out of electricity. So even if we had lights, it really wouldn't do a whole lot of good. Alright, coming in real smoothly right now. Right there's our target. Right there. As I said, it'd be really nice to have some lights on here, but. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
and I really can't tell. <laughs> I think it's trying. There we go. All right. So let me get that attached. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now because it's running quite some time. So I'll see y'all next time. Bye.